and the, the heavy rain occurred earlier on the coastal area, okay? And uh, later on, the heavy rain occurred the both coastal area instead of uh, the mountain. So when uh, the southwest wind occurred, you know, for this uh, uh, weak, uh, weak uh, the vortex uh, system, systems, the, the heavy rain occurred over the coastal area instead of the mountain area. But for typhoon case, you know, uh, 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 both coast and the, uh, the, the mountain area have this. And also we have done that, uh, uh, we, we try to identify the, when we have a continuous uh, precipitation system occurred on a certain part of Taiwan, how they related to the prevailing environment. And uh, we, we found that uh, there's a two mode. One is a cross-stationary over the mountain in the late afternoon is uh, related to the uh, uh, late afternoon thunderstorm. And we do have this kind of early morning system occurred uh, over the ocean and the propagate eastward into the, uh, into the land and the, also the mountains. And in this situation, for the, uh, the land type of event, the western wind is much weaker than what uh, we have for uh, those uh, ocean type uh, winds. At least, uh, 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 I think uh, one time, you know, the uh, one uh, double the wind speed over here. So uh, it seems to uh, uh, confirm, you know, what we have uh, uh, discussed that for these uh, plain areas, uh, precipitation. And when we have a strong wind over the over the uh, strait, you know, it's uh, easier in, to to provide uh, this uh, environment for this. Uh, last, you know, uh, I just show you that we use uh, this uh, different uh, uh, com uh, uh, dual Doppler winds, and uh, in here I would like to show you uh, before the rainfall and uh, after rainfall the the kinematic structure change, and uh, here is. Uh, uh, three hours before the typhoon made the force. Different colors means uh, the winds that uh, we uh, 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 taken from different height of uh, this dual double analysis. Uh, as you can see here, there's uh, for, uh, for the white, that's in the upper level. Uh, for this uh, green, this is in the middle level. Okay, and uh, next one, show it's approaching to the, uh, to the uh, near the rainfall period time and uh, passing so you can see here, we can identify the low-level circulation center quite well through this uh, process. Uh, and uh, here is the uh, circulation center here. And then, uh, and this track is kind of a little bit different from the official track made by the uh, Central Water Bureau. Okay, and in the future, we, uh, we were looking at this uh, for the, the storms uh, uh, between the 2004 and now, because in the all this period, we will have uh, uh, the double radar uh, data available for the Kanding and also the Chigu radar, and we will work on that. Okay, that's my talk. Thank you. Very much. Ben, it's a very uh, interesting talk. Uh, it reminded me that uh, when I look at this uh, model simulation, and the model tend to produce, uh, uh, to produce rainfall mostly over the, uh, the shift of terrain, and over a plain area, there's uh, much less uh, rainfall. So uh, the thing you are presenting here is a great challenge for the modeling, I think. Yeah, I agree with you. In fact, I think the in two years ago, we have a southwestern flow, a southwestern monsoon experiment. I think that experiment data will collect will be helpful to explain some part, you know, the heavy rainfall over the over the uh, plain area, and uh, it's challenging to the model to, to get this right. Yeah. Any other questions, Russ? Uh, particularly in. Uh, Cases in which the southwesterly flow was at the really southern end of Taiwan. Um, I almost think, what is the source of that rain band, and, and wouldn't it be helpful to have the uh, radars from China? Or I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> okay. I totally agree with you. You know, information from China and also Philippines, even you know, from Yunnan, is 
will be helpful to this kind of situation. Be uh, because you know this uh, this kind of water vapor source possibly is you know from uh, further westward. I didn't show that today, but uh, it, it, it it did. Yeah. Thank you for your comments. This. <laughs> well, there, there is talk in the Typhoon Committee about getting a radar composite of all the stations, but there's a lot of politics involved in that. I wish I wanted to be a part of it. Thank you, Ross. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, you really get two, que two previous uh, comments or questions. Uh, I realize that yeah, there is, a, before landfall, there is still rain band, very similar in the southwestern uh, side of Tokyo Cyclones. There was. Okay, so then, because uh, that's why not only the mountainous rainfall, but uh, still that kind of similar structure maintained so, to provide the rainfall. Yeah, disturbances within the southwest of Monsoon Flow. Yes. In fact, uh, the other case in 2008, Kameji, Typhoon Kameji, Typhoon is really weak. But however, our southwest region already heavy rain. Oh yeah, that's a what you just mentioned. Yes, I didn't have time. I think maybe Tai Chi will show that. Okay. <laughs> okay, then now it's move on. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much.